When I became chairman of the Internet Advertising Bureau in 2003, there were, at that time, a lot of people around who were saying, well, you know, this kind of Internet thing is, we just had the boom and the bust, and, you know, thank God we weren't involved in that, and we didn't get kind of mixed up in that mess. Uh, we now know, of course, that that was more about the pace of investment rather than about the quality of the content and the ideas that were being invested, uh, invested in. What I see now, though, is a lot of uh, marketing companies kind of saying, you know, we, we recognize that things have changed, that there is a new thing going on, and, uh, you know, accordingly we've changed our marketing priorities, and we now invest kind of up to 5% of our marketing budget online. And it seems to me that is a big, as, as big a scale of a mistake as was being made in 2003 following the, the, uh, the dot-com bust. You see, over the course of the years I've been involved in media, which is now nearly 34 years, it's, it's, it has been in constant change. But it's been evolutionary change, where each development has followed on from what has gone on before. My view is that with the internet, you've got a kind of dead-stop change. This is not a kind of evolution. This is not a new chapter in the same book. This is an entirely new book, maybe even a new library. So our approach to it has got to be different. We've got to factor in, this is not a kind of you know, a new medium, this is a change in human behavior. And we've got to, I think therefore, in considering brand strategies, factor in a dead stop and a zero-based marketing approach that takes account of the scale of the change. I think anything less is going to make us underreact to something which is hugely important and therefore make our brands get left behind.